got an answer. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to another episode of Ask Yuri. Today, we are going to be talking about, so I'm just looking on my computer here, I'm on my desk, I've kind of changed things around a little bit. So we're going to answer a question first off from Dan, and he wants to know, uh, he's asking the question, um, this is posted on my Facebook page, says, Yuri, my diet on more days than not is anywhere from 35 to 40% fat. Is this hurting me? Is this bad? The overwhelming majority, 85% plus of my dietary fat comes from two or more of the following sources. Chia seeds, almonds, avocados, and olives slash olive oil. Max intake of saturated fats, about nine grams a day, and never any trans fats. So, you know, is that a bad thing? Well, uh, depends who you ask. Like, there's a lot of people who are on the fruitarian side of things who say that uh, that fat is bad, and that fat is the real cause of things like diabetes because it disrupts how insulin interacts with the cell and all that other stuff. I don't personally believe that that's a bad thing. I mean. I think that getting your, your fat from chia seeds, almonds, avocados, and olives are terrific sources. You're getting omega-3s, the omega-6s to some degree, obviously, from the almonds. We don't want, to, we don't want too many omega-6s. Uh, however, almonds are still good for us, really good source of vitamin E and, uh, and protein. And then olives, right? Olives, avocados, very good sources of monounsaturated fats. So it really sounds pretty good to me. What I would suggest is really just kind of upping the intake of the omega-3 fatty acids in addition to the chia seeds. So looking at like a fish oil or an algae oil, krill oil, uh, really the best sources of EPA and DHA, which are the ultimate derivatives of omega-3 fatty acids. I would add that into, into the diet just to really get some more anti-inflammatory benefits from those oils and those fats. Um, but again, I don't, I don't necessarily think that it's a bad thing. You know, we've been led to believe that fat's bad for us. It's not. Bad fats are bad for us, and bad fats being vegetable oils, which I've spoken about. I don't even know how many times I've spoken about them, right? They're, they're not good at all. So things like soybean oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, canola oil, corn oil, those are the ones that are on all the processed foods, and those are the ones that we want to avoid. So yeah, Dan looks pretty good. Uh, not much else I would recommend other than increasing your intake of the omega-3 fats. Uh, again, if you really want to be sure about where this stuff is, where this stuff is, uh, I'd recommend two things is you have to get an idea of what's happening inside your body. And one of the ways you can do that is by doing a live blood cell analysis, which many naturopathic doctors will, uh, will have uh, available to you. Basically take a finger prick of blood, they put it under a live microscope and you can see what's happening in your blood in, in the moments, right? So it's not frozen and you're, you can actually see how your blood is. So if you have issues based on a higher fat content in your, in your diet, you'll see that reflected in your blood to some degree. Then obviously you can also have a look at different um, medical blood tests, which will look at markers of cholesterol, triglycerides, stuff like that. If you really want to get a really good indication that things are clean or not inside of you. So get those tests done if you want, just for some reassurance that what you're doing is okay or not okay. And uh, it would be great to hear your feedback based on based on that stuff. But I, I do believe that what you're doing is fine. Uh, the fats that you're eating are really, really good stuff, really good sources of, of those important omega-3 and omega-9 fatty acids that we need. So, so keep it up and just make sure the rest of your diet is pretty whole and, and based on real foods as well. All right. Thank you for the question, Dan. Hopefully that's helped you out. And hopefully everyone else who's wondering the same thing has helped them out as well. I'll see you in the next video.